clinical trials continue to show that exercise therapy is one of the most effective treatments for knee osteoarthritis. Systematic reviews and meta-analyses have found that exercise is just as effective at reducing pain and improving function when compared to medications such as ibuprofen and naproxen. Exercise comes in two flavors. The first is aerobic exercise such as daily walking. Walking has all sorts of benefits, including benefits to all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease, mental health, cognitive function, immune function, weight loss, and more. Specifically for arthritis, walking helps prevent arthritis from getting worse, and those who walk every day tend to have better outcomes. Other excellent forms of low-impact aerobic exercise include cycling, swimming, and elliptical training. Aim for at least 30 minutes every day of aerobic exercise. Now, the second flavor of exercise is strength training. This is an often overlooked aspect of exercise. And while aerobic exercise is beneficial, it doesn't build muscle strength in the way that resistance training does. Focusing on strengthening the entire lower extremity, especially the muscle around the knee has been proven to significantly lessen pain and enhance function for those with knee osteoarthritis. Muscles not only support and stabilize our joints, but also act as shock absorbers. They help reduce stress on the joints and prevent arthritis from getting worse. The contrary is also true. Weaker leg muscles have been linked to worsening arthritis symptoms, in addition to worse radiographic progression of arthritis. I've put a link to a sample knee strengthening program here if you need guidance on which exercises to do. Aim to do a strength training program targeting the lower extremities two to three times a week. Now, before we move on to the next topic, I want to address and dispel a widely held myth. There's a prevalent belief that running or exercising contributes to the development of arthritis, but this just isn't true. In fact, numerous studies have shown that exercise actually protects against arthritis. Other studies have found no evidence to suggest that exercise causes arthritis. For instance, a major survey among marathon runners, who, if the myth were true, would exhibit exceptionally high rates of arthritis, found no link between their running history and an increased risk of arthritis. Instead, the most significant risk factors identified were age, body mass index, previous injuries or surgeries, and family history. Exercise was not considered a risk factor. 